Hello, and thank you for attending. My name is Dr. Susan Mara, and I am a naturopathic doctor here in Seattle, Washington, and I specialize in tick-borne illness. Today we're going to talk about Bartonella. Bartonella is considered a co-infection of Lyme disease. In other words, a tick can carry more than one infection. It can carry Lyme disease, it can carry Bartonella, it can carry both, it can carry Babesia. Essentially, um, Dr. Joseph Boroscano's um, description of ticks as being the dirty needles of nature is a perfect graphic of what exactly they are. So we're going to talk about Bartonella and currently there are about 13 species that are pathogenic. However, we can only measure two, and those are Bartonella hensley and Bartonella quintana. In my office, I particularly see a lot of Bartonella hensley, and Bartonella hensley is characterized by um, severe head pain, migratory joint pain, strange skin lesions, stria, which are, they look like red stretch marks, retinitis, carditis. In other words, Bartonella has a particular affinity for the brain, the eye, the heart, and to a certain extent, the GI system. And so we see um, variable presentations of symptoms based on probably uh, your, the interaction of your gen genomics and the infection. Bartonella hensley, interestingly, has a higher incidence as you move south, although that's changing with migratory birds and global climate change. But um, in and around the equator and in the southern states, there seems to be a higher incidence of Bartonella. Bartonella has a particular affinity for red blood cells and the vasculature in your body. In other words, it likes to hang out along your arteries where it forms colonies and builds biofilms to protect itself from the host and it resides in this place because it has perfect access to nutrients which are traveling in your blood. So Bartonella just as Borrelia is somewhat of a parasite. Bartonella also particularly enjoys sugar. So one of the foods that you want to avoid if you have Bartonella hensley is sugar because it just makes the situation worse. The presence of Bartonella and Lyme together means that you have a double whammy. So you have double the amount of inflammation occurring in your tissues. And so what you want to do is you want to decrease the inflammation decrease the infection, and incre increase your immune response to those pathogens. Bartonella is also very difficult to document through laboratory work. Currently, I use a serum antibody test, just as I do in Lyme, and I use another test called the FISH test, fluorescent in situ hybridization test, which is also very helpful. And I also use what's called a gem sustain, which is an actual picture of your tissues showing the pathogen in your tissues. And also you can actually see biofilm communities that result from um, probably Bartonella as well as some protozoans like Protomyxoa and um, possibly Babesia. Bartonella is an interesting organism because just like Lyme disease, 
is an intracellular stealth pathogen. So it gets inside your cell and begins to manipulate the machinery. And this makes it particularly difficult to treat patients with Bartonella but because we have to get the drugs inside the cell. It's not impossible, but it is a, a, another layer of difficulty. Bartonella is treated with the antibiotics and herbs. I also use a lot of nutrients as well. And uh, I have plenty of patients who have recovered beautifully from Bartonella through an integrated medicine approach and have moved on to enjoy very fruitful lives. So I hope this short video has provided you with some information that's useful and I look forward to talking with you again. Thank you.